I find it rather ironic that in a game that I don't like, that a lot of other people seem to, when I finally find a part of the game that I enjoy, it's the part of the game that nobody else likes. Hello guys, this is Universal Giant, welcome back for more of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Last time, we spent a year and a day exploring Noki Bay. And today, we're going to be moving on with some of the less interesting missions. Yeah, this level doesn't really have that much going for it, despite how beautiful I made it out to be. So we have an introduction to a mechanic we only use once or twice in the entire game. Where he essentially puts a fishbowl on our head which allows us to hold our breath for longer. And we go into a bottle. And the objective in here is to collect eight red coins so we learn how to use this stupid thing. Now, this is actually ridiculously hard to control if you don't go into first person. First person, for whatever reason, helps you change your perspective a lot more easily than other means do, I guess. So it lets you change the angle with which you're looking a lot more easily than other modes do. I don't know why, but when I found out you could do that, it made things so much easier. Where the hell is that coin? It's all the way up there. I didn't even realize. Again, depth perception, especially when you have to navigate three-dimensional space like this. You can't tell where the hell you are, where anything else is with respect to you. Or I can't even tell what direction I'm moving. But there you go. That's how it is, I guess. So if we can get this coin before we're rocketed too high up... And, let's see, there's one in here. I forget where the last one is. There's also a hidden book somewhere in the level, like, you can clip... You can see through the wall, like I was doing before. You can do that to see where a book is underneath. I think it's in there. You can clip into it. But I'm not proficient enough at this game to try. So, I tried jumping. That should tell you how skilled I am at this game. I tried jumping underwater. Of course I did. Question nothing. I tried jumping again. I was complaining that I shouldn't be trying to jump underwater, and then I tried jumping underwater again. I... I have no words. So that mission was essentially an introduction into two later missions in this level. One will be happening immediately. The reason why he gave that to us in the first place was specifically for this mission. And I think this is the last quote-unquote boss in the game that isn't the final boss. Ely Mouth! I can't imagine what kind of enemy this is going to be! But of course, that thing is the source of all of the poison in the place, but of course, why wouldn't it be? We have to blame something, don't we? I mean, what else could possibly be the source of the poison if not for an eel that has a cavity? Because everyone knows any eels that have cavities poison all of the water within three or four miles of them. I... I don't. I just... I don't. I mean, there's an easier way to get in there, I'm sure. But this is the way that I always do it, because it's the easiest to actually jump to. I think you have to get a far enough distance into the waterfall for this to count. But if you jump from there, you almost can't really miss. So, we just spend, like, three minutes sinking to the bottom of the ocean here, and we have to clean this guy's teeth. If that doesn't sound like the most exciting thing for a boss battle, I... I don't know what's wrong with you. Because clearly that's the most interesting thing anybody can do with a boss battle. What are you talking about? I thought destroying that thing gave me life. It did. That's wonderful. I forget if you just have to spray those open, or just go through them, well, they'll give you air back. So we have to get close enough to this guy that he's actually comfortable enough to come up and meet us. 
I think you can spray these as well. If you care enough to get close enough to him. But you can also take damage, and he can spray you into... I didn't clean the other tooth, did I? So the objective here is to clean all of his teeth off. And he's very prone to closing his mouth. He's very prone to sucking you up. And you're also very prone to losing air if you're not careful. So you need to be very, very careful of that. They have lots of coins scattered about all over the place. The problem you'll run into is that you'll eat up a lot of the coins that are nearby. And you'll have to spend so much time looking for more that you'll wind up losing more air than you would have if you'd just stayed around and gotten... I don't know where I'm going with this. I just hope that this guy doesn't cause me enough trouble that I have to do this over again. Because honestly, I love this boss. What are you talking about? I never really came up with a good way to fight him either. And it looks like any tooth that I don't clean off completely is completely reset when he goes back down. Which is frustrating. Because he's not cooperating with me today, is he? Doesn't seem like he is, no. There goes his tooth again. He must be loving me so much right now. As I wait to go all the way down to the bottom to collect all of these coins that it's going to take two things of air to get. So was it worth it? I am going to survive, so I suppose in that respect it is. And I hope he's going to push me up to the point where I can actually get to his tooth faster. Can I get to the other tooth fast enough that it's clean? No. I'd really, really like to, but I don't know if he's going to cooperate to the point where I can do that. See, I'm right next to him. Yeah, I feel fright too. I don't think that hurt me though, but it can't because my only health meter is air. Fortunately or unfortunately. I just hope this guy comes up so I'm not wasting my time waiting for him. Yeah, any tooth that is not clean when he closes it apparently goes to full unclean again. So there's that one done, and then there's the gold tooth, and the gold tooth is not cooperating. So we're going to have to go get more air. Wonderful! I love this boss so much! Who loves this boss? Raise your hand if you love this boss. Congratulations, you're the only one raising your hand to a computer monitor right now. How do you feel? Hopefully stupid. Probably from liking this boss. But if you don't feel stupid from liking this boss, you can now feel stupid for being the only one raising your hand. Can I at least face him to the point where I can clean his tooth off? Thank you. So now when he goes back down, he should give us a free refill of air. Unfortunately, oh, I actually got the cutscene skip. Holy shit. Normally when you do that, it starts you all the way back up at the top. But if you take damage just before the cutscene starts, you don't have to wait all that time to go back down. I was honestly not expecting to get that skip. I wasn't even going to explain it. You know, for however much of a train wreck that boss was, I'm at least happy I was able to salvage the skip. So, Il Piantissimo! Who's had enough of him by now? Although I think we only saw him once. Right? Gelato Beach? I'm pretty sure that was the only place we've seen him up to this point. So, he's back. Everybody loves him. If you don't love him, there's something wrong with you! Like me! I don't love him, and there's definitely something wrong with me! So we have to race him all the way over there, but all the water is nice and clean now. And there was the glyph that I was waiting for. I didn't think that glyph showed up. I also think if we get to a boxing glove at some point... There we go. That that launches us a good distance over. So that kind of helps. If I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that helps. 
But of course, it's ELP on TC Mall. I mean, this guy is really not that much to write home about. We could sit here and probably... What, what could we do in the time that we're waiting for him? Maybe we could get the blue coin while we're waiting for him. Yeah, you go over there, real pound TC Mall. I'm going to go all the way over here and get a blue coin, because I can't be asked to wait for your slow ass. I can't be asked to wait for your ass. You can't find such grade-A commentary anywhere else, guys. You're definitely in the right place. But that's not the last we're going to see of him either, unfortunately. I'm just glad that we don't have to see Gooper Blooper again. Take what you can get. Now, how many missions have we gone through in Noki Base so far? I want to say that's five, and if that's five, I don't remember what the sixth one is. I know seven and eight, but I don't remember six. I do remember six now. Oh, frig. This secret. Oh boy, this secret. I just want to get this one over with, to be honest with you. As much as I love scaling this place, because it's unbelievably beautiful, I just... This secret, man. I I don't. I, I really don't. But I have to. Because it's in the game. And there's also... Oh yeah, there's more blue pointy stuff that we can do here, too. I need to keep that in mind when... I go exploring when I inevitably fall off. Although I accidentally hit that rope without trying. Hopefully that thing doesn't hit me while I'm trying to climb this thing. Or sit on top of the thing. Why not move? Why not move? Why would you move, Mario? Honestly, moving is probably the stupidest thing you could have done in that situation. Why would you even think about moving? I just want to get to the thing above the secret, honestly. Because the there is a blue coin around here that's a lot easier to get to if you jump to from the secret here. So I'm hoping I can get here and make it back. That's the question. I don't think I can. That's... oh, the lag was not going to help there. But if I can make it around to the other side of the shell and make it back into the secret, that would make things a little bit easier for me. It's right below me, right? Sure it is. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I just have to remember to go back for the graffiti. Because there are a couple of circles and things that we can collect there. But this secret is probably the one, besides the one that gives everyone trouble, that gives me the most trouble. And we start off in a fish tank, of all things. Kind of an interesting idea for a place to start. I'm always afraid of jumping off the edge there, though. So you have to time your rotation with this thing, with the flipping of the other thing, and I think we're okay. Because we can jump on relatively steep platforms as it is. It's just that some of these platforms are annoying to jump to. Not these, necessarily. And I think we could skip a portion of it if we just jump up to the rope up there. But I am not good enough at the game to do that, so I'm going to be taking it nice and slow, even though I probably don't have to. Because the secret really isn't all that difficult at this point. It will get more difficult as we go. Just, do I dare jump on the ramp to my left? Or do I just jump straight up here? I do like the wall kicking section up here, though. It's nice. When you can properly execute a wall kick, it's probably one of the most satisfying things for me to do in a Mario game. Properly execute wall jumps like those. And it's a really nice mechanic when it's programmed properly. And I think of all the things in Sunshine they got right, the wall kicking is really, really nice. I want to say I had more difficulty with it in Mario 64 because the original N64 controller did not register or did not fully register a directional or didn't fully register a direction from the original N64 controller 
for whatever reason, it never give you 100% left, right, forward, back. Which is why you see a lot of people who run GoldenEye run using the C-Stick for movement as opposed to the control stick. I think that's the only reason why wall kicking was annoying, because I see everybody else that plays it on the Virtual Console doesn't really have an issue with movement in Mario 64, so I'm guessing that's the reason why. But we do have a couple of blue coins to get in there, and I do have to do the red coin shine in the secret as well. I'm thinking I'll just do the few red, or the few blue coins that I saw around here, and then once I'm satisfied with all the blue coins I found, I'll skip ahead to the secret. I didn't realize I was doing Shadow Mario though. I forgot I actually got the shine. Well then, I guess we're doing Shadow Mario. I hope you don't mind. I really hope you don't mind. I guess we're saving what I said for later, then. Where did he go? Oh, you're right there. That's wonderful. Can I spray you down? No. I was really hoping. He's not dead yet, though, is he? You can't cut me a single... Where did you wind up? He's over there. And he's going to be climbing the ruins just like we've done before. So, it, it gets kind of irritating. And by kind of irritating, I mean really irritating. But hopefully we can get him up this platform. I'd just like to point out that Mario isn't looking at anything in particular. I think he's just angry at the ocean. Curse you, ocean! I won't forget this! And that... I guess that's the end of this one. I'll start the next one with the mission that I said I was going to do. This is Universal Giant! And look forward to wasting time looking for blue coins at the start of the next video. See you then.